Studying for your first actuarial exam is going to take hundreds of hours, and studying for your second and third exam is going to take hundreds of more hours. Plus, you're going to spend lots of money passing the exams, and you're going to also spend a lot of time learning the technical skills that actuaries need to know. So if you are considering the actuarial career, I am sure that you want to be really, really confident that the actuarial career is right for you before you even get started. If that is the case for you, then this video is made for you because that's exactly what I'm going to be talking about. I'm going to be giving you three tips that are really going to help you figure out if the actuarial career is truly meant for you or not. I'm Bria from Etched Actuarial and since I was in grade 11, which is a lot of years ago now, I knew that I wanted to be an actuary, but it doesn't turn out that way for everyone. I've met several people in the actuarial field that decided later on after they had already started working that the field just wasn't right for them. And I don't want you to run into that situation and I'm sure you don't want that either. So for today, I've got three things that you absolutely must do. Plus at the end of the video, I'm giving you a fourth thing that you can do that's not going to be as easy as the first three things, but it's definitely something that will really, really, really help you figure out if the actuarial career is right for you. Okay, the first thing you need to do is to talk to people about the actuarial field and just get a sense of what it's like to work as an actuary. There are several ways that you can do this. One really good way is to just watch day in the life videos. On YouTube here, there are tons and tons of actuary day in the life videos. And actually right down below in the description, I'm going to put a link to some of my favorite ones. Now I've released two and I'm going to link one from Michelle and another from page, but there are lots of other actuarial day in the life videos on YouTube. If you watch those videos, you're going to get a really good sense of what actuaries do day to day. What is their life like every single day? And if you just don't feel like that's something that you're interested in, something that you want to do every day, then you'll know right off the bat that this isn't a good field for you to get into. Some other things that you can do are talk to actuaries. I know it can be difficult, but if you can get a phone interview or just some call, some time to chat with someone that's already working in the field, it can be really, really beneficial just so you can get lots of knowledge about the actuarial career. Another really good thing that you could do here is just watch interviews with actuaries. Now I've released a few interviews with entry level actuaries on my YouTube channel. I will link those down in the description as well. And also I'll link them up there wherever they go. But just getting a sense of what other actuaries are doing in the field is again, going to help you figure out if this is the right career for you. I also have tons of other interviews with entry-level actuaries in my Actuary Accelerator community. At the end of this video, I'm going to give you one free month there. So if you want to check out those, I'm sure they'll be beneficial in helping you figure out if the actuarial career is right for you. The second thing that you need to do in order to make sure that the actuarial career is right for you, or at least help you make a more informed decision, is that you have to understand the steps that are involved in becoming fully qualified. Becoming an actuary is a long journey and you really have to understand all the steps that you're going to have to commit to and go through in order to become fully qualified. A lot of people think that becoming an actuary just involves passing exams, but that is not true. There are many other steps. So above here, I'm going to link to a video and down below in the description, I'm going to link to my blog post that I wrote. Both the video and the blog post are on the same topic. It's just the eight steps that you need to take in order to become a fully qualified actuary. And I think just reading through those or watching the video is going to help you get a better sense of what you're actually going to need to do in order to become fully qualified as an actuary. Another thing that's often not mentioned is that you just have to be willing to persevere. You have to be willing to keep going even when you fail. Actuarial exams are tough. There's very, very few people that actually get through them all without failing at least once. So you have to be willing to pick yourself up and keep going even when you fail. And that can be difficult in itself. So it's also something to consider at this stage of your actuarial journey. 
Okay, the third thing that you need to do is get your questions answered. Now, I know that as an aspiring actuary or someone just interested in the career, it is difficult to get your questions answered, but I fortunately have tons of resources to help you do that too. So in my Actuary Accelerator community, we have usually monthly Q&A sessions where members can come and ask me questions about the actuarial career, getting started, uh, passing exams, all that kind of stuff that people want to know about the actuarial journey. Luckily for you, I have posted some of those Q&A sessions on my YouTube channel. So in the description, I will put links to the Q&A sessions that I have released. Plus there are tons more of these in the Actuary Accelerator community, which you can get access to for free. Just let me know down in the comments if you want me to let you know how to get your first month for free. I will let you know. Plus, I'm actually hosting a Q&A session for members of the Actuary Accelerator community tonight. So tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern time, that's Tuesday, I'm hosting a Q&A session. And if you want to get into that Q&A session, you are totally welcome. You just have to use the coupon code that I will give you. If you just comment down below and I'll give you that coupon code, you can come join the session for free and get any of your questions answered. By doing that, you'll also get access to our members only WhatsApp group and in there members are always asking me questions and they are asking questions to the group. We have tons and tons of people that have already started their actuarial journey. Many of them have had actuarial internships, they've passed exams, they're getting interviews. So you're totally welcome to ask them questions in the WhatsApp group and I'm there to answer too. So those are tons of resources that I have for you to get your questions answered. I know that it can be stressful and very time consuming trying to find all the answers to to your actuarial questions, so I hope those resources will help you. Okay, so I did say I had a bonus fourth tip for you, but just to summarize what we've already talked about, one is to understand what it is like working in the actuarial field. Number two is to understand the journey that you're going to need to take in order to become a fully qualified actuary. And three is to get all your questions answered. If you do just those three things, you're going to be really well off and it's really going to help you decide whether the actuarial career really is a good fit for you or not before you start spending tons of money and and spending tons of time on studying for exams. It's just a really good way to make sure that this career is a good fit for you and it really is what you are expecting. Okay, the bonus tip that I have for you is going to be a little bit more difficult to do because this tip involves you actually probably passing an exam, but not necessarily. So this tip is to go get an actuarial internship. So during an internship, it's kind of like you get to practice or try out the actuarial career for a short period of time. I actually had two internships that were eight months long each. So before I even graduated from school, which is when most internships internships happen, I had 16 months of actuarial experience and that alone really helped me know that I liked the actuarial career. The problem is though that getting an actuarial internship isn't always easy because there's a lot of competition for them and you do sometimes need to have passed at least one exam in order to get an internship. That is not always the case though. I will say that I got my first actuarial internship without any exams passed, so it's certainly possible, just a bit more difficult. So if you are a Able to get an actuarial internship, that's really, really, really going to help you figure out if the actuarial career is something you want to be involved in long term. Okay, I hope these tips helped you and I would love to have you join in our actuary Q&A session in the Actuary Accelerator community tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern time. If you want to join in that session, please comment down below and I will give you all the details you need in order to get into the Actuary Accelerator community one month for free. Okay, I will see you in there and I'll, if you're not in there, I will see you on the next video. Bye for now.